Hey guys, welcome to my channel and my car. I just drove up to the Dermalogica headquarters, which I'm super stoked about because we get a little inside look at Dermalogica and today I'm here because I need to cure something. I've uh, been under a lot of stress lately and I have some new skin concerns and one of them is acne. Um, I've been kind of vocal about this on my channel. I've got some acne going on here. Um, I'm noticing some wrinkles around the eyes, which actually I've been able to keep at bay for so long by taking really, really good care of my skin. So I was super excited when Dermalogica gave me the opportunity to come up to their headquarters, which I've never been to, and kind of explore around. And we're gonna take a look at how Dermalogica has used um, education of their products and just education in, uh, in the dermatology um, uh, space in general to grow such an amazing brand and product line and a bunch of you guys asked some questions on Instagram So I'm gonna be pulling those up when we go inside and getting those answered for you um, But I'm excited to check out the inside meet everybody there and kind of learn a little bit more about drone logica from the inside out So let's go ahead and do it and a big thank you to Dermalogica for partnering with me on this video Let's uh, let's go ahead and get inside Dermalogica was founded in 1986 by Jane Werwan, but let's back up a few years to 1983. Jane Werwan came over from the United Kingdom and realized that in the US, we didn't really have a whole lot in the way of continuing education for skincare. You basically went to school for six months to be an esthetician and it kind of stopped there. So because of this, in 1983, Jane opened a small classroom in Marina del Rey under the name of the International Dermal Institute, which is basically now considered the international gold standard for postgraduate skin and body therapy. And they actually have 37 locations worldwide. Not long after that, it didn't take Jane like a whole lot of time to figure out that like no skin line really embraced her beliefs, um, which was basically skin health as opposed to just skin beauty. So she, you know, created Dermalogica in 1986. Dermalogica was born and it's a, a product line free of, you know, some of the gross ingredients that can cause breakouts, um, including lanolin, SD alcohol, mineral oil, artificial colors and fragrances, you know, kind of all that gross stuff. They were really focused on creating not just a beautiful, good smelling product line, but a product line that really worked. Dermalogica, if you didn't know, is actually certified vegan on all but just four products and they also plan to be 90% completely recyclable or biodegradable by the end of 2020, which is really, really cool. Um, and so there's some really fun facts about Dermalogica and now you know a little bit more about why I love the brand so much. So when you order from Dermalogica.com, this is where your order is being shipped from. You could seriously get lost in here. Do you guys ever uh, ride a skateboard in here or roller skates? <laughs> Are you camera shy? <laughs> Okay, so I got my little robe on. I'm feeling saucy. We're gonna go get my little facial done. I guess I really shouldn't have worn makeup, um, but I wasn't sure exactly the order of things we we're doing today. So I'm gonna go ahead and go get my facial on. Very excited. It's been quite a while since I've had one. So I kind of combo skin. Mm -hmm. um, my main issues are wrinkles around the eyes, larger pores on the forehead, on the sides of the nose and mm -hmm. chin. And then lately I've been breaking out or like on my, between my neck tattoo and like jawline area. Okay. Has been really congested. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's from stress, but it's uh, What are you using currently on your skin? Um, I use Dermalogica. I'm using a special mm -hmm. cleansing gel. Um, I use the daily microfoliant. Mm -hmm. um, I just grab whatever Dermalogica product I feel like. <laughs> I use the pre cleanse all the time um, to remove makeup. Okay, so I'm going to get started with pre cleanse. Okay, so I'm just gonna feel around. 
smooth texture on the forehead. I'm not feeling a whole lot. A little bit of breakout over here on the left side. Tiny bit of fog pores in the nose, which is normal. Okay, so I do see some of the little mini breakouts around your neck too, as you were saying. I do see the breakout over here as well. A little bit more on your right side. Yeah. So you're also a little pink in certain areas. Do you mm -hmm. tend to get sensitive at all easily, or um, I, I would say my skin's pretty sensitive. Okay. Um, it does get oh, red. Sensitive side. Yeah, okay. I've been using the redness relief essence. I should probably oh, be using it a little more religiously. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, I really like that. I've been using that. Feeling. It feels so good. Good. Yes. Amazing. Don't forget sunscreen and hands. Okay, shit's important. Okay. All right. So let's go over some product recommendations for you. So you said you are using pre cleanse, right? Yes. Okay. Perfect. Yes. I love that. And then, what is your second cleanser? Um, I use a special cleansing gel. Perfect. Okay. That's. Perfect for you. I've been using that since I was 16 years old. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> that's great. Um, so one that I think you could do as a treatment cleanser would uh -huh. be the Clearing Skin Wash. Ooh. Mm. So this has some salicylic acid in it. There's a 0.5% salicylic acid. Oh, so nice. as we know, salicylic acid really goes deep into the follicle and helps with breakouts, congestion. So this is more of a treatment cleanser. I wouldn't recommend using it every day. Like around your period. I tend to have yeah. that breakouts. You like could do it like every other day or something okay. like that, just when you feel like you need it or where you feel that you need it. Like okay. for you right now, the jawline or maybe the neck. Um, but it might dry the rest of your skin out, so okay. I wouldn't do it everywhere. It's okay. more of a treatment. Okay. Is that something like if people have like acne on their Absolutely. backs, is that a good mm -hmm. Okay. I don't, yeah, but chest, I know a lot of people do. Arms, so. Yeah, it's great for awesome. the body as well. Wonderful. And then you, you are using daily microfoliant. Mm -hmm. You said perfect, so that's great. So a few things that I would recommend to you, which I don't have here with me, but are the two new products that are okay. coming out that we kind of talked about. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be the Age Bright Clearing Serum. Um, the, I'm sorry, the Age Bright Active Clearing Serum and then the Age Bright spot fader. Okay. So those two are um, going to be really powerful acne fighting products. Uh, so the perfect yeah. for what I need right now. <laughs> acne fighting. So event. the serum uh, basically you would cleanse your skin, exfoliate if you're doing that that day, do your toner and then, um, and then you would just it comes out in a little dropper so you would just apply it onto your skin, just pat it in okay. the areas where you need it or you can do it all over. This is going to help kill the bacteria that's causing the breakout and also just kind of soothe and calm your skin down as well. And also help with any post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation that okay. you may get from the breakouts. Um, and then the spot fader, that one, you're just going to use as a spot treatment. You can use it in larger areas as well if you need to. So but like where we have mm -hmm. the of how to break out. Right, how to break out or have a breakout because it still has those um, okay. breakout fighting ingredients in oh, there perfect. as well. Yeah. The two eye products that will be great for you are what I use on me, which you use intensive eye repair already, yes. right? Yes. Okay. So this is the total eye care that I was telling you about. This has an SPF 15. It's a physical sunscreen, mm -hmm. meaning it has that titanium dioxide and zinc oxide, so there's no chemicals for that delicate eye area. Okay. And then, you can't see, but you're like totally glowing in your eyes. <laughs> it has a little peach tip to it. Oh yeah. So this acts as an optical light diffuser, so it just kind of deflects light. Oh, or darkness, I'm sorry, it deflects darkness. So yeah, it just kind of gives like a that. little glow. Yeah, that's nice. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so we're gonna uh, pull up some of your questions here and get them answered for you. So someone says, what moisturizer can combat my dry winter skin and my oily summer skin? Dry winter skin and oily summer skin. <laughs> I so, feel like you might need two different products there. Yeah, so normally when you're living in climates where there are extremes, we generally do recommend different products, mm -hmm. more seasonal products. So for oily summer skin, a moisturizer that would be great for that is going to be our Active Moist. So this is an oil-free moisturizer. It still has silk amino acids in it. There's cucumber. It's very hydrating. Awesome. So it's going to add water to the skin, but it's not going to add oil to the skin. Awesome. Another one that could be an option for both seasons, but it might be a little lightweight. They might want to put something on top of it. Is going to be calm water gel. I don't know if you've mm -hmm. used this. I do you, have that. Yeah, I was going to say you might really benefit from this as well. Yeah, I do have that actually. So this has something called dual hyaluronic acid in it, meaning it has regular hyaluronic acid molecules, but then it also has smaller ones to fill in the gaps. So you're getting gotcha. a lot more hydration with this one. And then it's in our ultra calming line, so it has calming ingredients as well. Uh -huh. So it just feels really nice. It comes out like a gel oh, yeah. and it just goes right into your skin. I always suggest like moisturizers like that for people with oily skin like before they're putting on their makeup because you don't want it to slip slide around. And anyone can use this, it just might be a little too lightweight if they need something heavier. Uh-huh. Do you have any clen uh, cleansers for rosacea? We do actually. Depending on the severity of course and if someone has rosacea they always want to talk to their physician before they use anything. Mm -hmm but our ultra calming cleanser. So this is from our ultra calming line. This is a gel cream hybrid cleanser. Oh, that's cool. It has calming ingredients in it. The great thing about this cleanser is that you actually don't even need water to remove it. It's for skin that might be so reactive that even water irritates them. Uh -huh. So you could just tissue it off. Oh, wow. Okay, mm -hmm. very cool. The best product to minimize fine lines and pores that won't cause drying. I feel like that might be kind of a two product thing yeah, again. <laughs> I feel like that might be more of a, it's more than one concern. So you might yeah. have to use several different products for that. Definitely to minimize pore size. I mean, nothing is actually going to, there are a few things that, you know, might help reduce the appearance of them. Um, we personally don't have anything that's going to actually reduce the pore size, but Regular exfoliation really helps with that. Mm -hmm. um, so it helps with the cell turnover and getting those fresh cells up to the surface. So that could definitely help with the texture to right. smooth everything out. So just depend on their skin type as far as which exfoliant mm -hmm. they would use and their conditions as well. And then for fine lines, I mean, there's so many different options. Yeah, um, and our, yeah we have our H Smart line, so there's a lot of products in there. My personal favorite, which is very quickly turning into a hero product for us, mm -hmm. is our Biolumin oh, Have you tried this? That. Yeah, I, love I use this that. Product. I change my serums each night. I'm like, okay, what do I mm -hmm. want to use? And that one's sitting right on my counter. I would bathe in this. Like, <laughs> came in a bigger we package. need a larger size of this, yeah, please. Where'd Jane go? Here is the lab right here. Dermalogica actually formulates all of their own products right here in this room. That is pretty freaking cool. I finally made it home. I almost died in all of the traffic uh, back down, but I had such an awesome time at the Dermalogica headquarters. I can't believe that was the first time I had ever been. Um, my skin feels freaking amazing. Um, Sheba gave me an amazing uh, facial. Sheba is the... Um, educator there at Dermalogica. So she doesn't really do a whole lot of facials um, on the reg. So I was sadly told I will never be able to go back to her and get another facial. So I was soaking it up while it lasted. But I learned a lot about Dermalogica that I didn't even know. So that was very exciting. I love to hear like the history and learn about that um, as a brand owner myself. So it's just really inspiring. And damn, my Skin feels good, I can't stop saying that, but I'm really excited to use some of the new products that um, they gave to me. So thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy skincare on my channel. And also give it a thumbs up, and if we get enough thumbs up, maybe I'll do a little Dermalogica giveaway, maybe. Um, I hope you guys are having a beautiful day or evening or whatever time it is wherever you are at watching this. Thank you for watching this, and we will see you in the next video. Bye guys.